The real advantage of working with stateful deep research agents is that they can fine tune how they research over time with respect to your exact preferences. So this is just a starter kit. It's intended to be modified by you to suit your own purposes. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to update the memory architecture so that it kind of understands what I'm looking for, the kind of things that I think about, and how to just generally do its job better. So I'm gonna to go to the block manager up here. This is just gonna track kind of key insights and information, right? These are like top level takeaways that it gets every time it does research. I'm actually gonna do research ideas. So this will help the agent start tracking ideas that it might be, might be useful for me to see. I'm also gonna add the memory rethink tool, which will help it rewrite entire blocks a little easier. We don't include it by default because it can be damaging, but I think I'm okay with my agent using the rethink tool. And flicking through it here, it made a seven piece research plan. So the background, business model, team and leadership. And then we get to the concluding report here. Letter represents a transformative company in the AI agent space. Ooh. They extracted some information about our pricing. It pulled out some information about our investors, our direct competitors, as well as highlighting advantages against them. And our conclusion is Leda represents a compelling opportunity at the intersection of academic excellence, market timing, and technical innovation. The company has successfully commercialized groundbreaking research into a platform addressing critical AI agent infrastructure needs. I agree. I didn't tell it to say any of this, by the way. It, it wouldn't have found this. We are in a strong position, and I agree. 